Dude, we are at 310 subs. Thank you very much. We appreciate this. And we've been getting great feedback. Thank you. And of course, like and subscribe. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs>
I would not be waiting. Let me put it this way. I would just be buying on the way down. If you have no shares, you could ignore the RSI completely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you should just like be accumulating whatever you want. Honestly, even Bitcoin or, or Tesla or whatever at any price, if you are in the long game and not in the trading game, good companies will eventually hit all-time highs almost all the time, basically. They'll keep hitting those all-time highs. And you're like, oh, I can't get in because it's an all-time high. What was the saying? If you don't believe in the story, the price is always too high. Amazon, Netflix, uh, Apple. Like, when, when, is, when is it not at an all-time high, honestly? It's ridiculous. And they're printing money right now. <laughs> like money's just flying out, flying out. So, so, you know, some of this is just the general devaluation of the, of the dollar. We spoke about this yesterday. You and I are not day traders. We're more like swing traders. We look for a good entry point into a stock, get in, hold till we hit a certain predetermined amount of profit, pull it out, either leave we'll the original pull out investment. Half. Yeah, it's pull good to out pull out original, half. Uh, pull out the original investment. Then you're playing with, um, you're playing with profits. Buy if you love the thing, buy it on the way down. If you love it, if you believe the story, you have to believe the narrative. If you don't, do not touch it. There's two points of resistance now that I, I feel that are need to be broken. One is this downward trend. The other one is at $6.15, has to go above that. At right. that point, if it goes above seven, it's blue sky again. And that means this 500, 458 million dollar company can go, go to, to a billion bucks. hundred, a billion. A billion bucks, I think. I think uh, roughly $10 is, seems like a reasonable expectation. This year, I'm even talking about this year. Yeah, uh, that okay. could be this month. We see the very good food companies please announced that the Victoria facility has met its production target of 20,000 pounds per week on average, an 82% capacity increase from October 2020. In addition to this operational achievement, Very has increased the fulfillment of e-commerce orders to an average of 1,800 orders per week, an increase of 100% from September. With the help of its new 3PL logistics partner, Very also recently expanded its distribution into the Sobeys retail network with the impending launch of the Very Good Butchers products into farm boy retail stores throughout Eastern Canada. They've increased their capacity 82%, 82%. Guys, that is huge. So is this company on the trajectory up? Do you believe the story? I mean, we'll go three this sounds pretty down. good. As yeah. a result, an average of 1,800 e-commerce orders were fulfilled weekly in December 2020 compared to 900 orders weekly in September prior to the beginning of the partnership. They've doubled. Yeah, they, they basically doubled, doubled their production in order to meet the sales. Remember this. They're selling the food. You have to wait right now a couple of weeks to get your food. They want to obviously decrease that time so you get it faster. So they're increasing their capacity which makes sense. They're growing. I like that news. By the time this week ends, we're, we're going to know something about what the stocks this uh, stock's going to do over the next few weeks. Like I wouldn't be waiting for $3.37. That's insane. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, three fifty, three fifty. Yeah. Yeah. If you get it at $4, you're a lucky dude. You're good. Okay? If you're you get okay. it at three fifty, you're a lucky dude. If you get it at three bucks, you're even super luckier because if they're growing and the, and, and like they're literally growing as the stock is tanking, it just shows you people are not watching yeah. what's oh, going on with the company. At some point, it will catch up. Yeah, at some point, it's going to yeah. catch up. The point is, the point is, if the, the stock's not going to stay at five dollars for this year, most likely they will they will get to the billion dollar um, valuation. What happens from there is anybody's guess. But this is if from this point on, it's it's almost a two x from here. If you were in earlier, congratulations. We you know we were in a little bit earlier. I was in earlier than this. Um, and and like I said, I'm willing to buy more at the three fifty mm -hmm. four bucks because then look, it becomes all of a sudden a two and a half x, a three x. It gets a lot a lot more uh, enticing as it actually drops, not less enticing because I ain't selling. I love falling knives. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> My hands are bloody. Uh, <laughs>